with the undo table space. What exactly is going on? So important that you guys get this because if they asked you this on an interview, it's very good for you to have a good understanding of what's going on. Listen, anytime I do any, not select, insert, update, delete, merge, right? So long as I have not committed, right? I can do a rollback, right? Now watch this. What does rollback mean? It means, wait, what does redo mean? Uh, do, over. do over, right? What does undo mean? Take back. Huh? Take back. Get back. No, undo means reverse. That. I like that. You see the difference between redo and undo? Redo means do it again. Reverse means what? Undo, right? For lack of a better word, right? Right? Now watch this. Anytime you guys do any insert, update, delete, semicolon, it's gonna work. No problem. But guess what? Because you have not committed, Oracle is not sure whether or not you're serious or not. So, Mr. Cool Moody over there, right? You know that girl you were, you were talking to last week, right? They said, oh, I, dude, I love you, right? All that good stuff, right? But guess what? Because you didn't put a ring on it, right? So that other guy, that other guy, she got to put him in the background like, dude, I'm still going to keep his number. Do you guys understand the concept of what I'm saying? Right? This is the concept. I have not committed yet to the transaction. Right? I have not committed yet. So what Oracle has to do now is do this. Watch this. This is what the old table looked like. A1, B2, C3. No problem. Now, this is what the new table, you did what an update. The update statement would, would be, probably read like this. Update, right? Old. Because that's the name of the table, right? Update old. Set B to equal to five, right? Where? B equals two, right? This is what you would have done, right? I want to change two to five. So update old, which is the name of the table, set B, which is the name of the column, to equal to five, where B equals two. Make sense? All right. So now the new table is going to look like A1, B5, C3. But guess what? It is not permanently changed yet because you haven't issued a word commit. You know with the DML, not DDL. With DML, you have to do what? Commit. You have to do commit. With DDL, do you have to do commit? No. Why? Because um, it's not supposed to. Huh? DDL, why? Why don't you do commit? Because it's auto commits, right? All DDL transactions are auto commits. Make sense? All right. So now, because Oracle doesn't know whether or not you're serious or not, whether you're committed to, to invoking this transaction or not, so guess what? Oracle has to do what? Here's the key. Oracle in the undo table space, right, has to keep or store the before image copy, the, Im the before image segment, right, which is B2, not this whole entire table, no, just B2, it has to keep that in the what, undo table space, so that in case you need to actually do what? A rollback, you can always roll it back. Because you have not committed. But here's the deal. The moment you issue commit, you can't roll it back. It's gone. This V2 vanishes. It's gone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what the undo does? Right? Very good. <laughs>